What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion for uh, Revit for Mechanical Design, Mechanical Certification Preparation. So we are still working on with our families. So in this video, we are going to learn how to differentiate bet uh, between hosted and non-hosted families. And then we are going to recognize some of the family hosting type. Okay. Right, so when creating a family, if you want to create a family, a component family, so you can go to the file and then select new and then you can click here family. So when you select that, on your new family select template file, there are several hosted templates that can be used. Okay, so let's say for example, I'm going to hover my pointer here. As you can see, I have several hosted uh, family here like for example ceiling base face based floor base line base pattern base roof base okay so let's say for example i want to create an air terminal that is face base uh air terminal so i just need to select this one and then i select here open and then on the family editor as you can see you are on the floor plans reference level and then you have here your extrusion. So this extrusion serves as the uh, host of your face base family. So this is where you are going to create your 3D model. Okay? And then once you finish your 3D model, this extrusion will not going to be included to your family but only the 3D model that you have created. But if your family is a face-based family, so make sure that there is a face that will host the family when you load it into the project. Okay, if there is no face, you will not be able to place your host-based family. Okay, and also when you use your generic model hosted uh, templates such as the face base like this one you can also go to the create tab and then you can change here the category so let's say you are not yet uh, sure with what family you are going to create from your face base template so once you have decided so you can go to your family category and parameters and then from here you can select <clears throat> So let's say for this family that is uh, you want to create an air terminal, then you can just select an air terminal here. Okay, so that the category of the family that you are creating is properly categorized, not just a simple generic model. Okay, so that is what you do every time you create a new family using a face base or hosted uh, family template. Okay, so you can also select ceiling and then obviously if it is a ceiling base, when you open that, so you will have a ceiling in your uh, family editor. Right now, so you are on the ceiling plan reference level. So this is where you are going to create the family that is a uh, ceiling base. Okay, right. Now, going back to our project here. When working with existing uh, hosted component like, for example, uh, this one, okay? So if I'm going to select this one, so you can, uh, you can see here that a placement panel will appear on our contextual tab, okay? So to move a hosted component to another phase or work plane, you can select here, pick new. Okay, so that is what you do. So let's say you want to relocate that. Okay, so if you want to move a hosted component to another phase or work plane, you just need to select pick new. All right. Okay, so what else that you need to know? So I'm going to select again another air terminal. Let's say, for example, this one. And then... From the mode panel, I'm going to select here edit family. So let's select this one. So you can see that this family that we have selected, it is a uh, face-based family or it is a hosted family. So when creating or editing a hosted families, so there will always be a host there. So there will be a host component in our drawing area. So this is our, just like what I have said earlier, so there is an extrusion. So if it is a ceiling-based family, so you can see a ceiling. 
okay but this is a face based family so that's why you have here an extrusion so when an extrusion is present then the family was created with the face based template okay and when another host component exists such as a ceiling so then that indicates which template was used okay and another thing just a reminder again so be aware that when using another type of hosting such as a ceiling hosted the ceiling must be in the same model as the component that is ceiling hosted why because it will not work when the host is in a link model okay that's why for this reason face base is typically the best option for MEP components or non-hosted okay so for me I prefer a non-hosted family instead of a face based family okay but yeah so it depends on the user so some um, user they prefer to use a face base as a best option for MEP components but for me I sometimes use face base but most of the time I use a non-hosted family like this template here so I go to new family this one so like for example I just want to create a mechanical equipment so I'll just select here a generic model so this is not a uh, face based family or ceiling based so it's just a generic model so as you can see here there is no host in the drawing so if you're going if you know that you're going to create a mechanical equipment then just use the mechanical equipment component uh, mechanical equipment uh, template here so there's no host for the mechanical equipment so if you want to create an air terminal so there is no air terminal here so what you can do if you want to create an air terminal without a host meaning you can put it anywhere you like so you just use a generic model here just select generic model open and then you do the modeling and then you can change here the category so family category just change that to air terminal so that the family that you're creating is properly categorized okay and another thing there are some instances wherein some of your uh, some of your component loses its host so let's say for example you have a hosted family let's say it is placed on a duct okay so when the host component uh, loses its host it becomes orphan so what does it look like so you'll be able to see this icon this one so this is the icon for an orphaned uh, family so an icon will appear next to the component when you have uh, when you selected that component so that's the symbol for orphan so meaning to say a hosted component lost its host so it will still work so it's just an indication that that particular family loses its host that's why i don't prefer a hosted family i just uh, create a family a non-hosted uh, family okay so to see all the orpan components in the project so let, let's say you want to do some checking so you want to see all the uh, orpan components in the project so what you can do is you can go to the collaborate ribbon tab and then from the coordinate panel so let's see here reconcile hosting so you can click this one so it will open up your uh, reconcile hosting dialog box so all of the orphaned elements will appear here okay, see, see that one so orphaned elements so you have that uh, orphaned elements okay so that's the one so this is what you do if, if, if you want to see these orphaned uh, elements in your project all right Okay, so that's it for this simple exercise. So in this exercise, we have uh, differentiate uh, the different the difference between the hosted and non-hosted families and recognize uh, family hosting type. All right, so thank you for watching. Have a nice day.